actions have consequences. The Dust King has been defeated, his tower dismantled, yet the threat of the Dust Bandits linger on. Rather than dissolve with their leader's capture, the gang splintered and devolved into civil war over who would claim leadership. There are now three bands of criminals prowling the wasteland, and it is only a matter of time before their infighting claims innocent lives. Yet it is not all bad news. Ender has tasked his companions with gathering intelligence on these new dust factions. It is only a matter of time before their leaders are identified and their hideouts found. That they are too busy fighting each other to organize against him plays right into Ender's hands. Until then, all they can do is bide their time and continue their exploration of the wasteland. Their first stop is a familiar one, the Foglands. Warded in his efforts to explore the mysterious region once already by the Holy Nation, Ender has determined this time they will be successful. Their power is more than doubled since the last time they ventured north. This time, they will be ready. And so begins another chapter in Ender's story. Welcome back to Kenshi, everyone. We are, as always, gaming by Gaslight, and Season 2 starts now. I like the idea of making the series play out a little bit like a TV series, hence the whole Season 2 thing and whatnot. I don't know, maybe it's a silly idea, but I like it, so yeah. Anyway, we're beginning our journey today by going into the Foglands. This time around, there are no... Terrible, terrible, holy paladins to ruin our fun, so we should be able this time, I hope anyway, to make it safely into Mongrel without being molested by those nasty Ocra Knights. At least that's the plan anyway, and Parg, Ender, Hemut, why are you guys going? The Fog Islands. We should try to stay up high, out of the fog. Okay. That sounds like a reasonable proposition. Uh, Axe, don't don't uh, wander off, please. Everyone stick close together. And I assume the reason we should stay out of the fog is because that's where those fogmen we encountered the last time we were here can be found. In fact, there's some fogmen right there. And what are they? What are they doing? Fog heavy, following leader. Okay. And they're actually considerably stronger than fogmen we encountered before. So let, let's go fight them, because why not, right? And look at them, running away. Like little cowards. Such is life, though. Uh, Bursil, maybe, uh, maybe you don't want to run off quite so far ahead of the others, but you know what? You're... Your life is your own, you are free to... Oh, sweet baby Jeebus. Hobbs, get out of there. We're all focusing on just the one. I did say attack all, right? Um, let's see. Uh, attack all, please. Yeah. Let's try to maybe break them off so we're not all attacking the same person, huh? That would be useful. There we go. Now, these are, the Fogmen are pretty, pretty weak, as we can see here. Having said that, I'm actually, yeah, I accidentally appear to have, uh, okay. A Fog Prince head, the decapitated head of a Fogman Prince. This trophy is worth a heavy bounty. Well, that's useful to know, but I had, before we started, I had, oh, he actually has a Ninja Blade. Is that what hacks is? Yeah. Okay, well. Interesting. Can I harvest all of the fogmen? No, it's just, uh, just the princes. Alright, that is interesting, actually. 
Hmm. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye out for Fog Princes, as we can apparently, uh... Get some sweet cash for them. Yeah, by the looks of it, they're not terribly tough on their own, these Fogmen, even the Princes, but... If, uh... If we keep getting attacked by them, their numbers are likely to, at some point, wear us down. Which actually kind of has me thinking, um, I think there's a mod that increases, uh, enemy squad size. Also, what, what's going on over here? We apparently got a, a tact. Something's going on down there with our labor group. I, I'm sure they'll be fine though, hopefully. Music is beautiful in, in this part of the world as well. Actually, can we, uh... We have everyone in the Black Legion, which also just occurs to me. I forgot to mention, we are now calling ourselves the Black Legion. And I think eventually what's going to happen is, like, right now it's just our squad, because it's just these guys that are, are known in the Wasteland. Our labor group isn't well known, but once, uh, once we have a base, I'll probably uh, shift the name up to our faction name and kind of have that as a representation of our growing officialness. Anyway, yeah, I want to do a quick prospecting of the land here. I don't think we'll build home in, or build a home, rather, to be grammatically correct. But I do want to start prospecting the areas we're traveling to, get a feel for where we might want to build a home. So we've got green and arid land here, reasonable amount of water, lots of fertility. There is a reasonable amount of stone, some iron, and some copper. So in that regard, it's not actually a terrible place. But we would presumably have to fight Fogman constantly. And what's... I, I think... There was like a bunch of beat up dust bandits. And I think they're like slowly getting up and we're just beating them back down over here. Which actually... Oh, hello. Back all, please. Which actually brings up an, a, an important uh, thing, doesn't it? After defeating the Dust King and making a whole heap load of money in the process, our heroes, it turns out life is not quite as good as we thought it was. Wow, we actually severed a guy's arm. Not bad. Whoa, 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 everyone gather together. Let's not just go running off seeking out trouble. I mean, we could, but we shouldn't. Alright, is everyone getting patched up? That is good. Yeah, just make sure everyone's patched up before we move on. But yeah, defeating the Dust King, in fact, only served to... Uh, Destrial, if you don't mind. Only served... to cause something of a civil war between the various factions of Dust Bandits. And you can thank the Reactive World mod for that one. I wasn't sure if I was going to play with that, since this is our first full playthrough in Kenshi and I... I did initially think, eh, I should try to keep as close to a vanilla experience as possible. But then I thought, after reading the mod description, well, you know, this doesn't really, like, change the base game that much. It just kind of expands what's already there. So I figured, eh, we'll go with it. This is just going to be blinking orange this whole time and panicking me. Anyway, so yeah, that's basically my justification for that. Let's, uh, let's see. Yeah. There's some kind of nest. There is stuff nesting here in the fog. And that is kind of creepy. Also, everyone is sticking together, right? Yes. Alright, everything is good down there. Okay, you guys realized you ran into a... Okay, Destrial is getting stuck again. There we go. And Destrial, you just follow Ender. Okay, everyone is apparently stuck now. Gotta love that pathfinding. I give it heck, but I, I do... I do like an, uh, Kenshi a lot. And little things like this cannot uh, ruin the fun. Not for long, anyway. Okay, I guess we're descending back into the fog. Back towards that nest we saw. I kind of look at this. Is there even a way for us to get around these mountains right now? 
I guess we'll find out. In any case, life is going well. Though I do feel kind of bad. I accidentally, as we've already established, I apparently... I had hacks making weapons, and I guess what happens is every time she crafts a weapon, she chucks her old weapon, or, yeah, whatever she has equipped at the time, into... Into, uh... The weapon storage chest I made, so that's kind of... Kind of funny. Oh, lordy. And more Fogmen. So yeah, again, like, they're really, really flimsy, but it's gonna be a death of a thousand cuts sort of situation here I'm picturing, where we just keep running into more and more Fogmen, and sooner or later, we are gonna end up uh, biting off more than we can chew. Perhaps. Hey, whoa, 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 guys. Let's, uh, let's all gather together, hatch ourselves up, and then we'll move on. Okay, and there, there's no... Yeah, it looks like it's all just regular fog princes here. So nothing too much to worry about. Which is always comforting. Can we actually get out through here? We might. I think there might be a path over here, or not. Just a bunch of dead ends and switchbacks and twisty, turvy, curvy bits. But we'll make our way, we'll find our way over to Mongrel. What is going on over here? Hmm. Well, let's investigate. Sound travels strangely in the canyons. Some would say the fog itself distorts noise. What we know for sure is that as we kind of wander around here back and forth, Ender and company hear something, a, a bit of a commotion in the fog. And as it is their nature, they decide to go in and investigate, effectively undoing all that work we just did to get out of this place. Hmm. And so, we march into the wreckage here, which apparently we can also mine, which is interesting. Uh, what's going on over here? It keeps blinking orange, but the- oh god, they snuck up behind us. Incidentally, if we look at dialogue, what are friends for? Oh wait, w what do you want from me? What are friends for, right? Hmm. But we can hear someone talking. Let's actually try to use that to figure out, are we near anything? I I honestly can't tell. Let's just go to this nest. Because I suspect that is where we will find what happened to those caravan guards. Assuming that the caravan guards, or the caravan in general, is even still alive at this point. Which they may well not be. Oh! Oh, we've actually wandered into something. Prisoner poles, animal trophies, fog death yard 90. Okay, so this is... Yeah, a fog death yard of some kind. We don't know how many people live here. All we know is that, uh... Yeah, there were people here. Where the fogmen... I'm going to take from context here that the fogmen basically tie people up and maybe they eat them? Because they were trying to kidnap us the last time we were here, so I assume that is their reasoning for doing such things. They kidnap people, they bind them, they gag them, they eat them. And it's just not good all around. Is there any more dialogue happening? Doesn't seem like it. Though... I guess nothing to worry about there, and Cat is working on patching up- Holy cow! A never assault of Fogmen. There's just so many of them. Ooh, and Parg's getting smacked around. Come on, Parg, use your martial arts skills. There we go. 
How is Parg's martial arts anyway? It's only 13, so he's not a great martial artist yet. But these are the opportunities. And labor, that's just, it's just blinking now just to annoy me, isn't it? Okay, here's a fog heavy, which means there is potentially a fog. There it is. Fog prince right there. We shall take his head. Okay, we can tell he's a fog prince because that is what a fog prince's head looks like. That is a true statement, right? Is that a fog prince as well? No, just a regular fog man. Okay, so we can't necessarily... Oh, and green is down. That is concerning. Alright, let's uh... Maybe a... Yeah, attack the fog prince, bring him over. Again, death of a thousand... Oh, green is already back up. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. Are you the fog prince? Are you running away? He is running away. But Kang is chasing him down. You carve him up like the mo Oh, and Hax is down now, unfortunately. Alright. Interesting. The prince is just running away. Would like to maybe take you out, please. Alright, we'll have Ender, uh... Yeah, we'll just borrow his head there. And we'll leave the... we'll leave the blade. Maybe that's a mistake, but... Time will tell. Is that... what is this? Oh my goodness, Green is just dragging himself along the ground. Alright, we're gonna have to pick him up. Axe is also down. Wounded. Wounded, but conscious. Okay, everyone gather around, please. Yeah, we are, we are injured, we're crippled a little bit, but I think we will be fine. We do need to, whoa, 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 what, what, what's happening over here? What are you guys doing over here? Come on, everyone, gather together. Or attack, yeah, let's attack this fog man. Okay, and, yeah, oh, oh, green is up again. And the Fogmen, they just keep coming. Okay, well. You think they're mad that we're cutting off the heads of their princes? I suppose I would be angry if uh, someone was doing that to my people. And again, these are like psychotic cannibals. Oh god, they're going around. Green is down. More keep on spawning. We might get overwhelmed here. Which is a, a big concern of mine. Oh god, one of them's- someone's got green. Oh, but green is back up again. Everyone, again, gather- gather around. Like, I, I don't want us running- Oh god, they just keep coming. Uh, no, gather around everyone, gather around. Let's patch ourselves up. And then get out of here. There may be- there may be some more, uh, heads to, uh, chop, but let, let's just patch everyone up for now. And we'll worry about the other things later. Yeah, green is... Uh, excuse me. Uh, Rain the Giant, can you, uh, pick up green? Okay, green has been picked up. We'll patch everyone up. We'll keep attacking these things that keep, uh getting up and coming after us. Alright, come on. Gav around, everyone. Gav around. Let death take hold of you. That's kind of grim. Alright. Yeah, let's uh, patch ourselves up as best as we can. Okay, looks like we are, in fact, patched up. This uh, death yard is still here. Alright. So yeah, it's going to take Green a while to recover from being crippled. Poor guy. But, uh, I, I think he'll... He'll ultimately be a... Whoa, 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 I think we lost someone back there. Nope, everyone is in fact still sta- Oh, and there's a fog man. You know, I'm just going to ignore this, which is probably going to result in someone getting killed at some point. Alright, the fog men are chasing us. Perhaps they have an interest or... What are, what are they doing? Fog heavy, following leader. Oh! Oh ho ho! A fog prince, you say? 
Well, we can take another head. Oh boy. I mean, the Fog Princes actually have pretty good stats. Oh dear. Okay, let, let's say attack all. That way hopefully we spread our... This is... There's the Fog Prince right there. Alright. Yeah, chop him up. Alright, Hax is still on her feet. Let's go take this guy's head. Just rip it off. There we are, like a band-aid, just rip rip that thing right off. Alright. Jolly good. Are you another prince? No, you're just a heavy. So the heavies guard the princes, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Well, that's, uh, one more taken care of, I guess. As the fog continues to roll in. Yeah, we're definitely starting to get worn down here, and that does concern me. So, best make our way up to Mongrel. Uh, excuse me, I said best make our way up to Mongrel. There we go. And hope that we can avoid too many more attacks, at least until Green can recover himself. But Ocarina only knows. And... At this point, Ender is starting to have some doubts about our survival out here. But still, he decides to press on. Perhaps this is... He is very conscious, though, of that incident with the Krall's chosen band that he figured they would be able to beat. Man, that almost looks like blood patches there, doesn't it? But it's just the soil. Nothing to worry about. And nearly getting everyone eaten by skin spiders. There's another band, and they do appear to be coming after us. So, uh, let's uh, stand our ground. We'll have Hobbs and Parg, who are of course still standing. They will do their thing. And let the fighting commence. Actually, I'll just say attack all. Another band, another, uh, another moment of fear as we... Try to figure out exactly what it is we're doing and whether we'll be able to get out of this one in one piece. As another swarm of fogmen comes down the hill. Now, the smart thing to do would probably be to put down green and let Rain the Giant fight at full capacity, but... What is going on over here? An escaped servant. Oh my god. We might actually be saving someone's life here. Let's get in there. Okay, it looks like we dropped them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Escape servant, escape servant. Okay, so they're, they're fine now. Let's have everyone gather around. We'll patch ourselves up. And, yeah, let's have someone first aid. There we go. Patch that poor guy up. Uh, excuse me. I did not patch that guy up just so you could eat him. All right, we'll have Issa, or maybe we'll have Kang, Kang the Conqueror. We'll have him pick up this escape servant and get him, get him to safety. All right, everyone patched up. There's a severed hive right arm just kind of rolling down. All right, it's been an exciting journey to Mongrel so far. Our heroes. Oh, oh. Um, Green could actually walk now. But let's not push it. We'll we'll keep carrying Green until we get home. And let's slow down time so that we don't... Oh god, Hergle is down. Hergle is up. Okay. Well. Have everyone uh, gather on the cliffside here. Oh boy. I said everyone gather, please. Let's not, uh, let's not push ourselves too hard. But we will fight who needs fighting. Uh, Bursum, I would really prefer if you didn't do that. Again, gather everyone up on the cliffside here. We shall fight. I don't see any princes here. Oh, wait. I'm like, oh, I don't see any princes here. And then there's literally the first guy I click on is a is another hive prince. Wonderful. 
Well, we've got like four hive heads at this point, so... And that is interesting. I assume we can sell them. I'm just gonna take a wild guess and assume that we get mo the most profit by selling them in Mongrel. Because there's gotta be a reason that such a town exists in the middle of the fog. As we will no doubt find out soon enough. We're so close, but our crew is battered, injured, horribly, horribly, uh, mangled. A little bit of, uh, fighting going on over there, but it seems to be mostly okay. Uh, I'd prefer if you guys stuck close to... <laughs> yeah. Issa, if you don't mind, also stay close. As God only knows what else is out here, and it would be much, much better for us if we did not uh, split up. Oh, and there it is, the walls of Mongrel. Ah! Oh God, there's screaming. Well, Ender and Company. Oh God. Uh, something is happening this general vicinity. Is that happening inside the wall, or... Oh my god, they're eating someone. Uh, that is horrifying. Well, and it's another fog prince, so let's, uh... Let's send the, the lads over. They're like... Worshipping it? As they eat this poor guy. Huh. There's a lot of them. I, I should probably be... Perhaps a little bit more concerned? But yes, as... As they approach the walls of Mongrel, Ender and company... Hear... The screams of someone in trouble. And they realize that... It is imperative they do something. Unfortunately, we're also all kind of split up now. Oh god, Hax is down. Though I think she'll get right back up. And they're, these things are busy eating. Not my legs, he screams. Yeah, we're definitely inside a wall. Something's going on here. Oh god. Yeah, we're... We're inside the terrain here, and that is just disturbing. Okay. Okay, it does look like we broke up this little, uh, this little party here. Where'd the prince go? There's the prince. Okay. I'm gonna have Hax go give him a little choppity chop on the old head. Someone else is getting attacked in the fog out there. Oh my god, they took his leg. Okay, Hax, you first aid this guy. Patch him up as best we can. We can't just leave him to die out here. Though clearly... Okay, Hamut is down. I'm gonna gather everyone over here. And then Ruka is going to go pick up Hamut. Who is slightly injured and unconscious. Okay, so everyone is gathered together. Everyone but Hacks. Let's all gather into one place here so that hopefully we can patch ourselves up. There is a Never Fog Heavy approaching us. Uh, Hobbs, let's... How about we try to pick the lock on this guy? And Issa, you attack this Fog Heavy. Okay, well. Nice one. Oh, and we can talk to him. Hello. Yeah, you gotta get me out of here. I'm on it. Don't worry. He's been picked free. Let's, uh, let's set the guy free. He's free, I'm free, I'm free, he says. Alright, and let's have Hobbs pick him up. And... Gather everyone around, make sure we're all in one place, patch ourselves up, and then let's get out of this horrible, horrible place. Okay, is everyone, uh, is everyone patched up? There's like someone bleeding over here. He is dying, despite having patched him up. 
What is Ender doing? He is medicking someone. All right, that is good. Is there anything we can do for this escaped servant? I, I assume maybe we're uh, patching his leg. He is still dying though. I don't know if we can save him or not. Uh, Hamut is normal, so let's uh, put him down. Oh god, there's more of them. And they've got more escaped servants. Alright, let the fighting commence then. Truly a horrifying situation here. Can we save everyone? The answer is no, but we have to try. Because otherwise, what, what are we worth? What is the black company worth if we cannot save those who are in need of saving? Really the question that Ender is faced with today. Alright, let's make a run for Mongrel. Holy servant guy, come on, join us. Come to Mongrel. Be safe. Be happy. Be free. Alright. We've had a beating today, that's for sure. But we've come out of it presumably stronger than ever. As is normally the case with these things. Yeah, I'm definitely... Are we... Is there still blood dripping down? I think so. It must be coming from this escape servant. He is in a recovery coma now, though. Might have to give him a little bit of food as well, because he's kind of starving. I feel bad for him. Poor guy. He's been through enough. He escaped the holy nation. I'm not going to let him die here. Not like this. Okay. And here we arrive at Mongrel, and there's actually someone to talk to here. A new guy, eh? Must be tougher than you look, making it here to the city in one piece. Uh, what can you tell me about this place? People don't make a habit of visiting here. If you're lucky enough to make it to Mongrel, you're stuck in Mongrel. The plus side, no one will find you in this town. If you get some, or if you got someone to hide from, that is. Around here, you'll find mostly outlaws and ex-slaves. Okay. Any survival advice? If you're staying, keep your head down. If you're heading out, well, you should avoid the death yards altogether. The mist tends to swallow travelers up, shall we say. Same goes for the floodlands up north. If you make it out of the mist, that is. People who go to the floodlands, they don't come back. Ooh, well we know about the death yards having wandered into a couple of them at this point. But what about the floodlands? A place where adventurers and treasure hunters go and never come back from, like always. The idiots. Some say the killer machines get to them. Killer machines, you say? But me? I reckon all those missing people saw something they weren't supposed to see. Well. Uh, looks like... Well, thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. No problem. Welcome to Mongrel, Island of the Outcast. Well. And so it is. Is that... Is that a shinobi tower? It is. Well, that's a good place we can drop off these servants we've captured. Or rescued, rather. The Foglands have proven worthy of their reputation. Infested by hordes of cannibalistic hivers, Ender thanks Ocran that they managed to reach Mongrel alive. His Black Legion staggers through the city gates, weary and sore from the trek. The rescued slaves they have carried in with them weep tears of joy and swear they will find a way to repay their rescuers. Ender assures them that seeing them live free is payment enough. Mongrel is a town composed of the dregs and castoffs of society, populated by those unable to find a place anywhere else in the wasteland. That they have managed to form a sustainable community here of all places is testament to their enduring spirit. Ender suspects they will find more than a few interested recruits to join their cause here. And they will need all the help they can get. For the fog hungers, 